Today we're going to be taking a look at the Astro 40SL Max, which is a 450 lumen rechargeable LED slim light uh, with an XL battery. I struggle with uh, light when I'm working in closed spaces, so I figured I'd give this a shot. But being that this is, uh, you know, $57 after shipping, which was free. I want to make sure that what I'm getting is a quality product. I didn't see any videos online taking a real close look at this and looking at the inside, so I figured I would make a video on it. See what's really inside, see if the battery is replaceable, uh, all of that. Uh, it's got a nice swivel on it that's adjustable in terms of the tension. So you can take, um, stick it to something in the wheel well, something metal, and then tighten it for it to hold its position. It's got an adjustable brightness is really good in case you have to actually stare into a little bit uh, and it'll get pretty bright I'm not going to shine it in the camera but I'll show you not so bad it has a hook on the back side so you can hook it somewhere if you need to and there's a lot of screws holding this together two four five six seven eight nine screws to get this apart <coughs> USB charging with the charging cable charger let's see if I can use a flashlight to read it 1 amp charger but not the fastest charger in the world so let's have a look inside of this thing And then when you want to order one, you'll be able to tell what's inside, if it's quality, if it's not quality, and maybe it'll help you make your decision. And really what I want to see what is what kind of battery is inside of here. That's the biggest thing for me. It feels like a pretty sturdy casing. It wouldn't uh, break too easily. So what I want to know is if the battery is something that's user replaceable. And I suspect it might be. Keeping my screws where I take them out. Decent flashlights are really hard to come by. So if I can find a decent one that that I can, you know, keep in decent shape, replace the battery when the battery wears out or whatever. That would be really beneficial to me. Not like the buys you get at Harbor Freight. You get them home and the next day one of the LEDs are burned out or... Eh, what do you expect for free? And I don't know if you have to unscrew this. I bet you probably do. Okay, you do. And let's take a look inside. All right. So this on the back, that's the, the power dial to the back of that. Quality-wise, yeah, the plug is mounted on the board at an angle, which is kind of interesting. Makes me wonder a little bit about the, uh, the quality of it already. You can see that this, is, this one's on the board nice and straight. This one's crooked. Hopefully that won't cause a problem, but let's take a look a little deeper. Let's see if the soldering points are at least in there good. <laughs> what not to do? Okay, everything on the board looks to be decent soldered. Let's see if I can get you a close up of that. Doesn't look too bad. I 
And the battery, it's an LG 18650F1L copper cell. And look at that. It's replaceable. And the Cricut plug. There you go. There's your battery. All right. So that's good news. Go ahead and put this back together. Now we know the battery is replaceable. Trying to tuck it back in the same way I got it out. There we go. That second plug is for the LED strip, and then the one in the middle over here that's for the that's for the uh, the dial for the the dimness for the brightness. So it looks like it's pretty serviceable. It's promising. Go ahead and get this back in here the way it was. The charging port, get that lined up. Back in the brackets. Make sure that LED strip is in there good. So it's a heat sink. Not bad. Feel like this one's gonna last a while. It's going to pop out again, I'm sure. charger in here and there you go it's charging so all in all quality wise I'd say pretty decent um, yeah the one jack for the battery was mounted on an angle but I think uh, I think at least everything was soldered on the board fine, and uh, that's really what's going to matter. It says you get 13 hour work time at 50% power, or 3.5 hours at full power. Okay, well, that's a quick look. Hope you liked the video. Uh, if you do, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave some comments. Happy to answer questions.